Hey there, it's Christian from Racknerd. Are you looking for a user-friendly control panel to manage your server efficiently? Ahenti is a lightweight open source admin panel that makes server management an absolute breeze. It comes packed with features like file management, service monitoring, and plugin support. And the best part, it's totally free. So today I'll walk you through how to install Ahenti on your Ubuntu server. Let's get started. Before we jump in, ensure that your server is running Ubuntu, Bionic, or later. You'll also need a root or sudo access. If you're hosting with Racknerd, your VPS is already perfect for this setup. And if you haven't already, you can check out our tutorial in the description down below this video on how to order a VPS server with Racknerd and other relevant videos you may be interested in. Now, let me share my screen here and let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so let's log into our server using SSH. The first step is to update our system packages. Run this command. Next, we need to install curl, which is required to fetch the Ahenti installation script. Run this command. Now we'll install Ahenti using the automation installation script. It's the quickest way to set up Ahenti with all of the necessary dependencies. Simply run this command. The script will handle everything, including installing dependencies and configuring Ahenti. Once it's finished, the Ahenti service will start automatically. Now let's verify that Ahenti is running using this command. If it shows active or running, we're good to go. The Ahenti control panel runs on port 8000 by default. So open your browser and navigate to HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash your dash server dash IP colon 8000. When you visit this URL, you'll see the Ahenti login page. The default username is root and the default password is password. And that's it, you have successfully installed Ahenti on your Ubuntu server. From here, you can explore its features, manage services, configure your system, and even add plugins like File Manager or a terminal. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to Rackner TV for more useful content. And for fast, reliable VPS hosting, visit rackner.com. With that said, talk soon and thank you for watching.